He is infinite Like the sky He is timeless Can never die He is boundless Full of love And he's radiant Like the sun And he's showing us all the bridges the same He's showing us all that we're just like him Actually one of the most <clears throat> perhaps very significant thing that came because for many years there were people who were saying sometimes they'd come and present this this question to me you know that um <clears throat> But suppose you're not destined to wake up. This is very strong. No? Suppose it's not in your destiny that you should wake up. No? Then nothing you can do can make yourself wake up. And before, when I've heard this question before, I, I kind of... <sighs> struggled a bit with it. No? And then it came clear. Really. And then when we was leaving mm -hmm. to go to London, a number of you came, no? Mm -hmm. To say goodbye at the train station. Mm -hmm. Something always happened at the train station. <laughs> no? The same thing came again. But what happened if it's not in your destiny to wake up? No? So my question my question came, no? Isn't destiny and free will also phenomenal? Mm -hmm. You see? So if destiny and free will is phenomenal, why are you worried about it? You cannot be in that. In order to be conquered by that, you have to be the one for whom they come, which is who? For the person, for the mind they come. Isn't it? Are you admitting that you are the mind? Because you can admit, I am the mind, and if you believe in it, then you will live as mind. Can there be a destiny for the self? Oh. Then you are you are put on the spot to define whether you are the self or you are something else other than the self. And until you realize the true nature of the self, where is it? <laughs> until you discovered peace, where was it? Was it hiding somewhere out? Like we say, <laughs> like you know, sometimes the people they send an, uh, a text message, and it, it doesn't arrive for four days. Where is it? Oh, somewhere out in space, or something. You know? Just hanging out in space. Where is peace until you discover it? Then, it's just somewhere else, somewhere else, or it doesn't exist at all. Did it come into existence when you discover it? So that means that it is. It is. It is. Uh, it is itself uh, something phenomenal, some something like that. Where is the self until you realize it? <clears throat> is it non-existent, and then come into existence when you realize it, or is it that it's always been here, but not recognized, something missed? Like, uh, like looking for your glasses while you're wearing them. Or <laughs> I've seen that one happen. <laughs> We're looking, for We're looking for your glasses. Try your face. Huh? <laughs> like this. 
<laughs> and the self is not is not a poor example for for the self because the self is not something that you wear. It's not something like that. Maybe it wears you, whatever you are, because we often refer to ourselves like we're instruments. You know, I'm the conduit. I'm the servant. You know. So that is, I am the body, basically, mm. and the conditioning or belief. <clears throat> Good. You are infinite, like the sky. You are timeless. Can you